Hello out there. Good evening. It's nine o'clock. It's Tuesday, the 13th. Yes, the 13th of August. Where is it going? <sighs> Soon to be the day that is the vape fest. Oh yes, am I excited? Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Uh, we've got some bits from last year's vape fest coming up. We've also got um, the latest swath video that Andy Sutton did over at eSig Wizard last week. And all that is after the titles. So uh, shall we do it? Okay. This scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Yes, it's Tuesday and it's that man again. Hello. <laughs> oh dear, what a week it's been. What a week it's been. Lots of things been going on all over the place and uh, soon it will be the weekend because today it's Tuesday. Yes, am I right? Yeah, I am right. Um, we've got some good stuff coming up. Uh, we've got the latest video from Swath from Andy Sutton. If you haven't seen it yet, you will do in about 20 seconds. Uh, and then in the second half, I've got some uh, kind of archive from last year from Mr. Dave Kitson himself. Yes, indeed. So we'll be looking at that and we'll also have this week's show as yours. But we're going to start with uh, Mr. Andy Sutton, who had a little visit down to Peterborough to visit Ben at Esig Wizard. Have a little look at what he went and saw. I'm Ben, uh, I'm part of a company called eSig Wizard and uh, we're based in Peterborough. It was uh, formed in 2011 uh, and then since then we've, we've grown from strength to strength. Uh, I started smoking at the age of 14 at school in uh, and found electronic cigarettes at the age of about 21. Vaping for me is, a, is an alternative to smoking so uh, I basically use it to get the same fix that I did from smoking and the enjoyment. Uh, it tastes far better than a cigarette and it works better than a cigarette quite frankly. You just have to look at the statistics really, 4,000 chemicals compared to, to four chemicals, it's going to be safer no matter what way you look at it. We've got 100,000 customers and we actually wholesale to 150 independent owned e-cig shops. We market them to existing smokers. We won't give it to anyone that doesn't smoke and we won't give it to anyone under the age of 18. We don't make any claims. They're not designed to stop a smoker smoking or intaking their nicotine. It is purely there as a complete and utter switch from conventional tobacco to something that is more effective, more enjoyable and cheaper and 99% safer. Uh, we employ 25 staff, uh, our turnover is in multi-millions uh, and we ship out thousands of orders every week. Okay, so we're in the, uh, the warehouse at the moment, so uh, this is where all the mass storage is and all the, the orders are picked. Uh, initially we started off in a, in a tiny unit rented month by month uh, to the point where we had to, to rent four of them and we'd knock down every wall leading to them. Uh, to make one big unit, but it became, uh, it became ridiculous. We had boxes stacked to the roof, you could barely move in it, so we decided to, to move into a bigger unit, and now we've got a 10,000 square foot uh, warehouse with offices, uh, and we've recently finished the build on the clean room that we've extended. Everything we do is to make sure everything is of the highest quality. We purchase our nicotine from authorised MHRA companies in the pharmaceutical market. So the ingredients that we put in our e-liquid are actually already approved as raw ingredients. Most of the people that are pushing for the medicinal regulation are under the assumption that this is the only product on the market. 
Okay, on this particular rack we've got uh, cartomizers, uh, batteries, uh, as you can see we've got a, a huge variety of flavours and uh, different strengths. We've got uh, Life of, Life's a Peach here, that sells quite well, Melon Magic, Mucho Mango and we do it in a variety of strengths, 6, 18, 24. It allows them to, to tailor their experience to how they want it. It gives them a choice, a variety, a customise uh, their e-cig and how it's going to work for them. When the government consulted on how we regulate these products, whether as medicines or as other products, the public health community, the NHS, the public health bodies, all supported medicines regulation. But like the government, they wanted effective products to be available, not to ban products that are currently on the market. We contacted the MHRA uh, to find out the costs that would be involved in us uh, licensing all the products that we currently have and the reply we got back was that we would need 900 MA licenses which would cost in excess of 1.8 billion pounds. The most we could probably offer is uh, free variations if we were forced into a corner that's probably what we could afford to get licensed. It's just not going to work, people aren't going to be satisfied, it's going to cost a hell of a lot more to use them and you're going to get a lot of people going back to tobacco. Now if they were to put forward regulation that was sensible, that protected the consumers, then we would quite happily go through with that. But the medicines regulation would essentially destroy our business and destroy the industry as a whole because we don't have £1.8 billion to invest in 900 licences and that's where the problem lies. Not, not wanting to spend money to make sure quality is there, but having the wrong regulation in place. Medicines regulation just isn't geared up for a multivariant product. And if they push us out of the market, there's over 400,000 people, if not more, that use e-liquid in, in bottled form that are going to go and try and find a black market option and that's where things get really dangerous and that's when you're going to get your first death from e-cigs. You're watching Vapor Scene on Vapor Trace TV. Ihr guckt hier Vapor Scene bei Vapor Trails TV. Viel Spaß! Another cracking bit of video from Andy Sutton. Um, and £200,000 per device. You know, if ESIG Wizard have got 900 items on their, on their menu, if you like, 1.8 billion, how many small companies can afford the 200,000 per device? How many small companies will be gone? How many people will lose their jobs if all this happened? So uh, you know what to do. And don't forget that Andy will be at Vapefest at the weekend if you are going with the video booth. So you can go in there and you can say what you think. Uh, and that will be put forward with all the other footage um, in the bigger picture. So uh, have a look at that. Now then, looking at my list. Yes, talking about Vapefest. Hmm. Um, in uh, three hours, three days, three hours, 51 minutes. Um, anyone would think I was a bit obsessive about how long it's going to be until Vapefest. <laughs> I was watching chat there. Uh, I'll be down there on the Friday night. Uh, I think Dave Kitson is going to be there on the Saturday. Gary Dibley is going to be there on the Friday night. Uh, and I do believe that Mr. Dave Malek is going to be in attendance too. Um, what are we talking about? It's this.
And I forgot to mention Tim, because Tim is going to be there uh, on uh, RY4 Radio, and I do believe he may be even trying to do a little bit of a broadcast from the bar. Could get messy in the evening. <laughs> and I was looking earlier on Twitter, and Wayne tweeted this. Um, if you are going, you can go to the VapeFest 2013 webpage and uh, download yourself um, a little badge if you really want to uh, put your name to it and put a picture on. Um, and then folk will know who you are and where you come from. Um, I've done one. I have indeed, but I'm not going to show you where You're just going to have to wait until Saturday and see. Um, but also, I was watching uh, Gary Dibley's show earlier from yesterday and looking at these lovely little things. Oh, yes. Um, the stainless steel tips that he designed with the help of Graham and has had them delivered and he's got three big bags of them. So I should be buying at least one of each because I think they look really, really nice. Uh, and of course, a uh, proportion of all the sales are going into his children in need pot and he's hoping to raise a thousand pounds at the weekend. So let's see if we can do that. Um, now then, what's next? Looking at my list, yes. Okay, so we'll go into the ads, and when we come back, we've got this week's show is yours, and we've got Dave Kay's little view um, on last week's, and not last week's, last year's Vape Fest. <laughs> it's all going wrong, I'm looking in the wrong place. See you in two minutes. Vape Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health E Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we are indeed back into part two and uh, coming up in a few seconds is this week's show is yours um, next week's show, uh, show is yours if I can say it right um, I'd like lots of photos from Vapefest please so if you're going to Vapefest 
send me loads of photos. And what I'm going to do, and I've just decided this in the break, is I am going to buy two sets of these tips, one for me, and then what I'll do is I will do a caption competition. I'll take some photos at Vapefest, and on next week's show, I'm going to invite you to send me in a caption for the photo. And the one that gets picked out will win a set of these. There you go. So if you can't get to Vapefest, you've got a chance of getting your hands on a set of these tips. There you are. Why not? It's all good. So that could be next week. OK, so I'll, uh, I'll get some photos from uh, Vapefest and I will find one suitably funny and ask you to give me a caption for it. And the one that gets picked out wins a set of those tips. So, Mr. Dibley, if you're watching, I now require two sets of those tips. <laughs> now then, let's go into this week's Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Show us yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's Show as Yours gallery. And like I said, for next week, please, if you're at Vapefest, send me lots of pictures to Vaporscene, that way, Vaporscene <laughs> at Vapertrails.tv. Let's see if we can have a Vapefest special next week. And of course, uh, I'll be there, Dave Kelly will be there. We'll all be there taking lots of footage for those of you that can't make it and we'll put something together. And of course, I will be doing the uh, Vapefest song again this year, which I can't show on here, but it will go onto my YouTube channel. Um, so uh, we'll see how, how well that goes and if it gets edited correctly. Um, I can't put it on here because of copyright issues to do with the song. OK, so this week's winner. Let's have a look at this week's winner. And it is... It's Mark McGuinness. I hope I said that right, Mark. Um, photo taken by his wife. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm expecting a picture back with your juice without the mask on, Mark. So there you go. Um, and again, if you want to uh, go into the pot, you know what to do. Vapescene at vapertrails.tv. And then next week we'll have the caption competition as well. And if I can glean some stuff, extra stuff from Vapefest to give away, I'll do that as well. I'll see what I can get hold of. That's the thing. OK, talking about this year's Vapefest, let's see what Dave K had to say about last year's Vapefest.
Beckenham Vapors have given us 1,400 bottles of Vape Fest Velvet. The original, the ginger version. Thank you. Tell us where you've come from. Uh, Greece. You came back from Greece. Back from Greece, left the family. And uh, what was the weather like in Greece? 42 degrees. Well, is, it, is it better here? Much better here. Well, well now we're at Vape Fest, of course. Yeah, much better. Fantastic. Wouldn't miss it for the world. to show me uh, a mod which is slightly unusually shaped. Chris, what is it? We've got four woods, um, although we're going to have more at some point. So that's your tilly, which is like mahogany. Uh, and then we've got walnut, oak and um, beech. That looks lovely, that does yeah. it's, it's, it's the boss, yeah, B-O-S-Q. B-O-S-Q. Yeah. And okay. it's, it's a guy who makes cabinets, but he also makes guitars. So right. it's perfectly suited to making a, a mod. Yeah, yeah. And then you basically, well, you probably use a coin, but in here is a, it's an 18 So I'm not going to screw it because I can actually show you it working. But basically there's a, a chamber in there, stake an 18650. Right. And there's um, a, a horn switch on there. And then... Um, It just sort of works. It just sort of works. Nice and simple. Please, but you yeah. feel that it's nice Please, in the hand. It is lovely, though. And actually, you can use it either way, and it's all right. So I love the inlay there. Yeah. To <laughs> uh, get that up to the candle is a sort of inlay bit. So obviously, because we're like with Brit baits, it's nice to actually make a mod as well and experience the journey. Yeah, absolutely. Of, of making one. So and. The guy who, who made them can also work with plastics and resins and possibly metal as well, so right. the future could be uh, very exciting. Well, so, yeah. thanks very much. Yeah, lovely. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. All right, thanks. nice. 500. What is it? That's a Super T18500 right. with a kick in it Right. and a Cisco HH357 long barrel. Uh, long barrel atomizer hybrid and how did it work <laughs> pretty well i find the kick gives me misfires mine does too but, but what i have to do is press it a bit uh turning the switch on is always a good idea there we go <laughs> Vape Fest 2012. Uh, it's been going a couple of hours since they let everybody in. Uh, there's a big marquee out in, in the gardens there, uh, full of vendors and people. And uh, I've spent, uh, I've been here about three and a half hours so far. And uh, I spent the entire time saying hello to people that I haven't seen since the last Vape Fest or the mini meets. It's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, um, just had a wonderful bacon sandwich um, and I'm going to go around now and see if I can get to talk to some people and uh, just basically enjoy myself before I win the raffle. Catch you in a bit.
I've just been asked to bring my camera because Darren is going to get Dougie to try something. What, 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 what have we told him was in there? We haven't told him what it is yet. We haven't told him what it is yet, but, but that looks like some kind of clear reminder. Uh, it's a big thing. thing. It's a bit of ego thing too. Right. It's got okay. some juice in it. I think Dougie is going to love and appreciate it. Okay. Um, Dougie, good luck. <laughs> No, I'm not president, mate. I've, I've not had that, that, the president's vibe. Come on, you can do it. Right, right, right. You see? What Dougie lacks in size, he certainly makes up for in balls. Fantastic. Are you going to tell us what's in there? That is Mercury Ice from Vapor World. From Paula. The delectable Paula. Yes, the delectable Paula Mercury Ice. And there she is, she's in shot as well there. Yeah, yeah lovely. Well done, Dougie. <laughs> And uh, what's your feeling today? Uh, well, fantastic. Yeah. 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 Great turnout. Yeah. That's my first one. Yeah. 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 Here I am, Vape Fest 2012 at the Moat House. Same as last year. Uh, feels like I've never been away in some ways. So, sorry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh dear, that brought back so many memories of last year, I have to say. I was flying around in one direction doing stuff. Dave K was flying around in the other direction doing stuff. Uh, and uh, it was a very good, very good time indeed. I uh, was just watching chat there. I didn't know Cass wasn't going. Uh, she was on the video last year. So I'm sure that Dave will have something for you on his show on Sunday. Uh, and of course, I will try my best to get everything edited in time for my show next Tuesday so you can see what went on from different perspectives which uh, should be interesting. Um, yes, the Friday night is the kind of pre vape fest night at the Tamworth Arms. Uh, and uh, I was just seeing there, Maddie. I met Maddie uh, at the Tamworth Arms on the Friday night. Did I not, Mr. Paulus? Uh, and uh, yes, it was a good evening, I must say. And then into the Saturday and home on Sunday. Hmm, should be good. So I'm uh, out of time, but let me just fill you in on what's happening for the rest of the week. Tomorrow night, it's Team Talk. Did you watch Team Talk? It looks a little bit like this. Great. Right. Oh, All I can hear is Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I talk a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome to the Here's How I Forgot the second half of that sentence. I got to have a word from that. <laughs> I forgot how to continue. <laughs> yeah, Here's How sponsored by Sip6. Have we still got viewers? Ooh. Yeah, we've got 87 currently watching. I've got 88. Yeah, I've got 88. Yeah, I do. Uh, so must not watch she was not watching that. that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. I was looking at the wrong screen.
Yes, that is what is on tomorrow night. But before that, and in about 14 minutes, you can watch DE Talk with Mark and Thomas. And that will be on at quarter two. And if you're not a German speaker, but you want to continue the party, you can always go over to RY4 Radio and listen to Rob Taylor. Uh, he is on on Tuesdays and Tim, of course, is on on Fridays. Thursday, not exactly sure what's going on yet. So keep an eye out on the Rebel Trails TV Facebook and Twitter feeds uh, and the team will let you know what's going on. And then hopefully Mr Kitson will have uh, recovered for Sunday for uh, Dave's Tackle Box and of course the boys on Monday for Tin Your Tip. I will see you if you're going to Fate Fest. I'll see you at the weekend. If you're not, I will see you next week. Until then, you know it's time for the credits. I need to find them. Yes, there they are. See you next week. is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>